So this is a this is a pagua. It's got a got a external curve, convex curve there. And this piece has actually been riveted on to this piece here. You can see the rivets. Oh, I see. It's made in two pieces. Wow, are they all made in two pieces? Mm, not all of them, but most of them. Okay. Yeah. So uh, is pagua the name of the knife? Yeah. Yeah. It's a, this, is, this is a pagua. Ah, oh, right. Is there yeah. another name for it as well? Well, in the UK they call them stock knives or clog knives. But they, they don't look anything. But they don't look anything like that. No. But it's the same, it's the same principle. Level, yeah. 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 And this little thing's got a spring on it, which makes my hands dirty. And the spring holds the spring holds the knife in place, mm -hmm. just like that, so that it doesn't flap around and fall out. And so that's quite nice, and it, it rotates as well, so I can take it round. And basically, it's you've got you know some more power than you know what to do with. Yeah. And I'm still learning to use it. So. <laughs> so you just slice it down. So we can make a, a spoon blank, I hope. This is beach I'm cutting, which is quite hard. Yeah. Uh, you find them all over France. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they wore clogs in France up until First World War. So there's quite a lot of these available if you look for them. But you can cut big chunks of wood off in a hurry with very little effort, really. <laughs> Let's get rid of that knot. I'm trying very hard to angle the, the, the pressure down and not forward because of my hands in front. <laughs> um, not easily, it won't go forward too easily. I think so. Give myself a line to cut to. You can always saw that 
cut if you want to first. Controlled. Yeah, it's more controlled. Um, I'm not sure the effort's different, this any, any easier, but it's different. But it uses the whole of your body, yeah. not just, not just your, you know. Using this, I do, yes. Well, I used to make clogs back in the day, 30 years ago. And I had an English clog knife sets, but didn't use them a lot. But uh, saw these in Brittany and thought, oh, there, I'll have a go at that. No, they were used for clogs. Right, okay. Just for clogs. They're not bad. If you look, if you know where to look, they're not bad. About 50 euros. You normally get one for about 50 euros online. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If, from France, yeah. I only, I've only started been using this really this year, so I'm still learning how to use it. It's great fun, though. Right, you cut cut straight down, and you know you're not going to go straight into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> straight across the end grain. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. No, you can get them quite a lot bigger. bigger. This is quite a small one. This is, this is a small one, yeah. Barn, I, when I bought a few, I was selling them last November. Barn bought a huge one. It's enormous. It's far too big for me. <laughs> I can barely reach the... <laughs> yeah. They're definitely worth getting, but you have to be careful that there's enough width here. Because these, this this bit of the blade gets gets sharpened and, and you know sometimes they you know there's only this much left, so you have to be careful that you get that there's enough the, the blade to be useful really. But this is the this is the cut that you can do that that you don't like doing with an axe. <laughs> That's such a lovely sound, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant.
holding it's the problem. <laughs> no, I don't think it will because I'm pushing down. I'm not pushing across too much. I think. I hope. No, I've never seen a left hand one. I know, it's a real bitch. <laughs> There we go. That's about as far as you want to go. Wow. But I can do them faster, it's just today I'm... Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs>